Okay, right. uh, for our big close, and, 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 in, and this is really an, an important uh, pioneering executive in mobile who uh, runs one of the most important players in the, in the space. Uh, we have Mike Lazaridis, the co-CEO of RIM, who has brought something interesting to show us to start the discussion. Mike? Blackberry Buggy. Blackberry Buggy. Mike? Oh, there he is. Hi. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey, Walt. Hey, Mike. Hi, Kara. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, I brought mine. I guess you got one all hooked up here. Okay. All right. This is the playbook. Yes, it is. So tell us about this. That's all right. Well, what is it? This is, this is the new BlackBerry Playbook. Looks to me like they've uh, turned it off. So let's see if we can get this one hooked up. Where is it? There we go. Can you see that? Yeah, they got it on the screen. So I've got a bunch of apps hooked up here. And what's really nice about this is it's really simple to use, mm -hmm. um, very fluid. All the uh, on-screen, uh, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, and um, but what's really amazing about this is that we've we're running all these apps are running Air right now. So these are all Air apps running. Adobe Air. Adobe yeah. Air. So we can have all that nice, uh, all those nice uh, graphics and mm -hmm. flow. Um, whether it's our, our music apps, um, and you can go between the apps. This is a PDF viewer. Uh, we can go back and let's see here. Go back. Be inside of a Word document, and you can see that we we now own DataViz, so mm -hmm. they've ported their DataViz client to the QNX platform. QNX is the operating system. It's the operating system. So you're we'll, just flicking between apps, like that's right. That so that what, were open, that were already right. So basically, you can flip between apps, and this is a calculator written in Flash. Um, you know, I always liked a good scientific calculator. Mm -hmm. Nothing like not, not us. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Um, well. I did a big calculation there. So, goes 45 equals, and there you go. Oh, great. That's if you're an engineer, you know 0.707 is. Okay. Um, here's a Flash okay. app. Um, what is it? This is, this is a, an app that just, it's, it's connected into a, a back-end server, and you can go through and you can, you can uh, look at uh, various portfolios. Very, it's very responsive. It it's is. Very quick. Right. Let's see what we got here. Can it get bigger and smaller? Well, not in this one. Right, OK. okay. And one of the things that we found was that this is the way people actually work. So when you've got a device like this, and you're holding it, and you're working with it, one of the things that you like is that we got some music going there. So you can see it's a very fast environment. So it's, can you turn it up a little bit? Yeah. I've got, I've got it up pretty loud. There we go. All right, so we've got we've got HD video running. You can connect this up to an HD HDMI connection, so standard HDMI. It'll run 1080p. And but while this is running, you see everything is running in in, in the multitasking environment. So here we are, we're looking at uh, pictures. We can go back. Oh, and it's still running. Right. So it's it's more like people. This is the way we like to work. We like to be being entertained, we like to be um, browsing the web, we like to be checking out our email, and it's as easy as just sliding between the apps that you have loaded. And again, these are the ones that were open, or that they, they were always were, open? No, these are the ones I just opened up. Just opened up, yeah. and then you can close them and then reopen. This is the one I was using backstage. So if you wanted to go on to Facebook or Gmail. Yeah. Now, of course, we're having trouble with Wi-Fi in yeah. this, in nope, this room, there but there you go. go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. And then the size, why is it this size, this particular size? Well, what we found was that at this resolution and this size, first of all, this is ultra mobile. You saw it I had it in my pocket. Mm -hmm. um, what's really exciting about this is that we haven't found any, any lack in, in performance in terms of like being able to watch a movie. Mm -hmm. um, it, the, the, uh, the high definition is really what's driving this thing. And at seven inches, it's just the perfect size. Um, and so you don't you don't think it needs to be bigger to really enjoy that that it, that, that too big is too big. I don't think so. No. Right. So you have no plans to make this in another size. Um, we've got different sizes potentially. <laughs> <laughs> What's really exciting is the engine. The engine here is is very powerful, and it allows us to do a lot of different things. 
Um, well, let, explain that for a minute, and and if you want, we can sit down, uh, or you, if you have more things to show, that's that's cool too. But um, this is the QNX operating system, oh, sorry. but the apps were running in Ad on Adobe's Air platform. That's right. So there's like two layers. There, so we, right? we we run multiple platforms. So we we run HTML5, we run JavaScript, we run um, Air, we run Flash, we also run POSIX native and OpenGL. So it's got a lot of potential for games, real-time action games, um, really high performance protocol development. So this is a complete mobile computing platform. And this has been something we've been driving f to get to for the last 20 years. This is not using uh, the same software platform in any way, shape, or form that the BlackBerry uses. Um, no, but what this does do is it supports WebWorks which is the same uh, de new development platform for BlackBerry. And it's a way of using JavaScript to write super apps, because what we've done is we've encapsulated the Java environment with JavaScript. So you can now write applications using web tools. Okay, why don't we sit down?